Good morning. So I'm making up them stuffed stuffed acorn squash following the low fod mop diet. But trying to make it flavorful still. So I got my jar of canned ground beef. I'm just going to use this because it's already cooked and it's ready to go. Oh, I forgot to grab rice. I got to grab rice. I'll do that in a second. So we're going to scoop this out. Seriously, this canned meat has been a lifesaver for me while doing this low fod mop diet. I can tell you that right now. Okay. So I'm going to add in some salt. I didn't add salt to the meat or anything, so I'm just going to add some in. I'm going to add in some smoked paprika because this has seriously been my lifesaver for making food taste half decently good. A pinch of basil. Good pinch. And some oregano. Each of these pinches are about a teaspoon. I'm going to add in green onions and I'm going to chop up some pepper and add that in as well give it some extra flavor in there oh come on here we go And this is pretty much just a really basic stuffed squash. So normally you add a whole bunch of other stuff to it, like onions and garlic and mushrooms and all of that good stuff. But on this diet, you can't add that stuff. Oh, my tea's gonna fall. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. But what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of tomato paste. And yes, this is the home canned tomato paste. I'll leave a link for it. And this is just going to add a little bit more, number one, more flavor to it. And a little more moisture to it. Just so it doesn't dry out. Because I do have rice that I'm going to add into this. I want another scoop of that. Yeah, that looks better. So guys, and I'm just winging all this stuff because there's no recipes that I can find that follow the FODMOP diet that I'm doing. Because I'm doing the extremely strict, um, like almost no food version of it. Whereas everybody else I'm finding is doing a modified version of it or they've reintroduced food. Whereas I'm not there. So just one second. So it's a little difficult for me to find anything. Or So I'm just trying to wing some ideas. I'm going to add a little more than a quarter cup of rice to that. And that's, this is basmati rice. I quite like basmati rice. I picked up some instant rice and ooh, it's definitely not my favorite. I can tell you that. It has its place. Yeah, that looks good like that. Okay. So, give me a second and I'm going to get my acorn squash. Okay, so I've got my acorn squash. I've already washed the outside of it. I'm just going to cut part of the top off here. I might need to sharpen my knife. I thought I did sharpen it recently, but maybe I haven't. Okay. And part of the bottom. 
and that's so I've got flat surfaces. I may have cut a little bit too much off the bottom, but that's that's all right. I'm going to cut this in half. We're going to scoop out the guts. Oh. <laughs> a little bit tough. I don't think my big spoon would fit in here. Okay, give me a second and I'll be right back. All right, so I got them cleaned out and they're ready to go. This one here I'm gonna put in the freezer so I have a freezer meal. It just makes it easier for me because I can't always eat what everybody else is eating. So I can just grab one of these out, put it in the oven and cook it and by the time mine's done, their dinner's done. And then this one I'll probably have today. I'll munch on it for lunch and maybe dinner. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. So I am going to fill these as like full. I want all of this filling in between these two squashes. So let's see how much I can get in here. It doesn't look all that horrible. It shouldn't taste too bad. There we go. There we are. Okay. So this one, like I said, I'm just going to. <laughs> Sorry, there's stuff on my spoon. Um, so this one, I'm just going to cover it up. One of these things. One of the lids. Oh, it's going to stick. Oh, well. It's fine. Not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. And I'll write on it what it is. And stick it in the freezer. And this one, I'm going to bake for about 45 minutes to an hour with uh, at probably 400. Make sure everything is well cooked and yummy until I can pierce a knife in the side of this and it goes through nice and easy. No different than cooking a squash any other time. So I'll bring you guys back when I have this out of the oven. We'll see how good it looks. All right, so it's all cooked up. I did put a uh, tin foil on top of it just so it wouldn't burn and it would steam up and cook a little nicer. It's still a little hot, it's been out it's been out for a good half hour, but let's give this. I'm going to make sure I get a little bit of everything there. Okay, let's give this a try and see how it turned out. It looks delicious, though, doesn't it? Can you see that? Right? Okay. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I could handle eating that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I am going to go eat my lunch. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you again soon. Bye.